Hey everyone, uh, this is Brent again here at Mometic. Just wanted to go through discovery again. We've made some pretty significant changes and wanted to clarify how things worked and make sure that you guys got a quick and dirty understanding of discovery, uh, which is the main analytics component in Momo. First off, before I zoom in, I want to show that this window is popped out. You could have it inserted within the Momo screen or have it popped out based on your settings. Um, one thing that I have this, I have this expanded here because I wanted to show you how you could add and remove columns quickly and reorient them. So click on discovery here from settings and hit the discovery tab and then you'll see all the available um, filters and columns. You could rearrange them, turn them on and off as needed, and they will disappear um, from your view. So to get back to your prior view, just click on the Momo logo and it will pop things up. I'm going to focus in on discovery here so that um, let me close this and show you the main screen so that we could kind of dig in here and uh, walk through this a bit. Um, <clears throat> what we have here is the different column headings here that lets you pick from uh, your filtered section selections, whether you want to select just particular um, sectors or all, uh, just select which ones you want. If you just want these four, for example, that will be reflected here like that. You could select all, which many of you guys do. Um, and that's fine, and that will show be reflected in the uh, setting when you close it. The five minute time frame could be the time frame window here. You drop down, you can select whichever time frame you want uh, that makes the most sense, and it will automatically update here. It's important to note that these spark lines will also be reflected on the same time frame. So you're seeing 15 minute movement uh, here on each data point. So that's kind of fairly unique to our platform. I don't know of anything else that does that. Uh, it kind of helps let you get a feel for the move of the day uh, and what's relevant in, uh, based off of your particular time frame. <clears throat> Moving over here, you will see the filters. I think most of them start off with something like a uh, big cap filter is the default and you just pick whichever one you want at any point in time and it will cycle through um, and provide the filter based off of the criteria you select. One thing that I was surprised that many of you guys didn't realize is you could actually click on these columns and sort either ascending or descending. Um, <clears throat> obviously many of you guys are going to be choosing last percentage and you'll be able to see those that have the biggest gain for the day based off of your particular criteria. So if you pick a gap scan, for example, and want to see those that have the biggest gap, you will, within your range, and then sort on last, you will be able to see that gain uh, for the total day. Additionally, as whenever you select any of these functions, uh, columns rather, you will be seeing your short ratios within the context of the scan settings that you have. So that's pretty unique in our platform. Um, <clears throat> one thing that I want to point out here that you'll see this new functionality is be coming out soon is what we're calling um, our pin holding function. When you have things like five minutes and one minute scans, you're going to be seeing a lot of data changing from time to time and they jump around. And so what we're actually providing here is the ability to hold them with the pin hold function. And you could change that time period from two minutes to, I think, one second or something, five seconds. And this will be coming out here soon to help, you know, show, keep your results that are, might be jumping up and down uh, on the shorter time frames. When it's, there's no filter for, uh, as a reference, though, the pin hold, it will not be relevant because it doesn't make sense to have it there. Um, Let's see if anything else is popping up right now. Some of these filters based off of your time frames are you know, not going to be showing things, but here's the pin hold again. 
uh, we'll, we'll just move that up just to keep this item here for the time being. Um, going through these columns, we've got Sparkline Trend. This is uh, Momo Trend. It gives you a really hard, uh, solid way to identify your buy sell points based off of your particular time frame. Um, <clears throat> volume, you could click on many of these columns and see the volume as it relates to the time frame. So this is in 15 minute increments and you can get a feel for whether the volume is rising or not. Um, th there's really no momentum at this time frame. Unusual volumes, huge. Halt, you could see the limit up, limit down values. Money flow is another vol value you could click. And this is actually in many ways more relevant than um, volume in that it's actually showing the uh, VWAP price times the volume so you could get a context of all stocks together regardless of price based off of um, the particular interest. We have um, halts, gaps, and I guess uh, trades is another one I wanted to bring up as this is uh, relatively unique to Momo as you could actually capture the number of trades that are being uh, shown for the particular time frame. I'm going to move out of this filter because it's not necessarily showing anything right now. Um, let's go news breakout. That one's pretty good. Obviously, we've got like uh, NVIDIA with earnings coming up, MicroStrategy, Marathon. Um, another thing is when you s have a smaller window, it's important to note that you could scroll left to right. Many of you guys, I think, have missed that and that there's a lot of additional columns here over on the right hand side. Um, <clears throat> uh, sorting by trades is a real easy way to see the th stocks that have a lot of action and then within the context of your particular scam. Favorites will highlight stocks that are actually in your favorites list and um, as a quote. So that's going to be useful for being able to provide that association for, for you if you have a comp comprehensive favorites list. Um, <clears throat> let's go in and edit a um, filter here. Uh, news breakout is really just showing just as you can see it's has news been shown within six hours and does you uh, unusual volume is it at have a minimum of at least 25 percent and that's about it for just showing this news breakout type filter. You could change that to hours, to minutes, to days, as you wish, and that will uh, be updated on the fly. If you want to do something like, uh, let's say, let's change the change of uh, the time frame, the change of price and time frame to five percent. Let's do three percent. Make sure we get some results, and I'll then hit update. It will save it. Additionally, you could color code any of these to any of these colors that you want, just for easy reference and this will actually change up here in discovery. Uh, when you update it, you will get the resultant list of those within a 3% change at that point in time. And you can see there's a lot of action on these right now because the limit up limit down values are showing. Um, VWAP uh, distance is actually showing the, the price of the current price at, relative to VWAP. So you can see these are very extended. This is useful for trying to identify short opportunities or mean reversion back into uh, the VWAP price. And then squeeze. I should probably go into squeeze and give a little bit of detail into that so you could kind of understand how that works because it's fairly unique. So let's go back into news breakout and add squeeze. Uh, it's not applicable for all trades, we actually suggest it for something maybe greater than two hours to uh, one day or even one week, depending on what you're looking for. But just for example, um, I'll add this column. So squeeze as an example uh, is a indicator that shows consolidation and then the eventual breakout. So if we want to capture those items in a squeeze for a period of time based off of your set time frame. So for example, four hours or one day, you can have, um, this will be 
indicative of those number of bars. Now, if you want to say, I want to know all things that have um, are in consolidation and also breaking out through the, the, the squeeze parameters, I could do click now and that will also show those things that are in, in that movement. Um, alternatively, you can't do all three of these at the same time because it kind of defeats the function of the squeeze fun uh, indicator. You could do post, meaning I want to know all stocks that ha have broken out and are two bars um, from that recent breakout. So if set at 15 minutes and I'll show, uh, you'll set squeeze to now and then it will show you the next 30 minutes of bars that have broken out um, past that squeeze. So just wanted to kind of cover that because it's not necessarily uh, straightforward unless you go read the blog post or documentation, uh, which just as a reminder, that is uh, doc.momedic.com for the documentation and blog.momedic.com if you want to read the blog, which sometimes, well, always has more in information uh, to drill down in terms of examples and things. So here's a list of all the different indicators. I'm not going to go through all of them right now, but uh, I've covered a few of them. Uh, another one that's good is trend, which will show you could show it the stocks that are in a buy or sell um, period. And when you select this, that will show only show those stocks that are in a um, trending in a buy or trending long. And um, conversely, if you want to, you know, hit sell that will be those are they're trending in a sell position and moving which you know it might say why would i ever do that but this could indicate that they've been in a long trial and are you know if we're saying unusual volume and change is three percent it's suggestive of the trend changing and moving in earnest so uh, moving in news so it doesn't necessarily always sound um incorrect to have these settings. It just depends on what you're looking for. So let's update that and see what we get. So we see QSI is is the only um, mover and I've actually traded this today. So I, I'm kind of familiar with it. They just released some news and it's been um, moving pretty strong and we could see the trend is up and we can see the sell price is $1.13. Um, additionally, <clears throat> you could search on anything here and uh, it'll bring it up, but be sure to clear your, your filters because you're not going to get any results unless you clear your filters and or the stock actually happens to meet the criteria of your filters. So that is all. I uh, hope that was useful. It's There's a lot to digest here, but just take your time and uh, we're happy to help. Uh, please email hello at momedic.com. We have a few different chat channels. Uh, and always happy to make sure we can get you guys straight and set up with the scans you want. Thank you.